uh, in that area with all the lava. And it it was what's he covered up to its chest, uh, up to its head, and blob like frozen the, lava. The yeah. last one, not this one. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if this one speaks reason. Probably not. Uh, After we destroyed his friends. Oh, he destroyed his friends. I wouldn't trust someone who destroyed my friends. <sighs> Open the door, don't, please. Don't tell him. Yeah, I suppose. The door. Yeah. I can't. Okay. This thing unslings its bastard sword and is like, Warning, intruders, turn around immediately. Make no attempt to advance. Hello. Right, my name that. is Gekido. Warning, intruders, return immediately. Make no attempt to advance. And you hear in the background, like, the the crystals behind him, you hear little girls singing, they're like, Slanesh, Eatnet, Corn. <laughs> oh, useful things to kill. Yay. Um, so... I would appreciate if you let us pass so we can destroy the stuff behind you. He's like, I cannot let you pass. You are not in the presence of a senior arbiter. Return yes. immediately to the safe zone. If, you, if we bring you back one of their hard drives, will that count as being accompanied? Is like, warning. Analyzing data. There is a 100% probability you are here to break the seal. Unsealed the sword again. I guess we're gonna have to kill another thing. <laughs> they are, uh, <sighs> I'm not. I'm not even trying to make it to kill us. It's, you it's, literally. It's... Okay, let's let's pretend this guy was human, right? You guys basically said, "Hey, if we went and brought you back the heart of the guard that was outside, you think well, you no, would let but, us pass?" Well, those those guards were jerks. <laughs> this one is too. Oh, Astor, I, I, Can you Astor, tell me what jerky thing this guard did? Well, this one, I guess, it didn't do anything. Okay. It's just that we've realized we're kind of beyond the point of no return. With this well, I mean, that we were at the beginning. Astor, hey, we were trying, trying to get along. Some of us were. We tried. It was too much effort. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'll try. That seems like a legitimate said. excuse, by the way. We tried to get along. It was too much effort. <laughs> Hey, 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 we tried, and but then it said, like, warning, you are a galactic chaotic criminal. Well, no, you are. It, 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 are. You're a chaos priest. Of course everyone knows who you are. You realize and, uh, that... What's actually, your name? Who is the leader of Axis? I don't know. Abadar. <clears throat> Abadar literally knows everything. He has a copy of every object ever made in his vault. If someone wrote down on a piece of paper, hey man, this guy, uh, Aster, he's totally messing our Hell Knight shit up in this town. A copy of that piece of paper would show up in the vault and Abadar would be like, hmm, this Aster guy seems like a legit character. Better and make I'm sure actually, to warn all of my policemen to totally whoop his ass. I'm actually pretty powerful at this time now as well. So, it's all well, relative. Aster, you're acting first. What would you like to do? I don't. Or wait, what's it? Oh, Erebus had to reroll. But I guess I'll just come and smack this thing. Yeah, I'll go after him. <laughs> oh, and that's terrible. But wait, it's flat footed, isn't it? Is it? Yes, it should be. Is it? Um, unless its surprise round was unraveling its weapon. Indeed. It warned you it was going into combat. Uh, 27 is still going to hit. 22 is not. Fine. We hit for 11. Your weapon, how long does the line weapon last? It lasts for a minute per level. Okay, so it's still active. Yep. You hit for full damage. Drain. You watch. Answer uh, the first move in this stare down. Arubus. I got a 28. 
Train goes in to support his oh, companion. I don't know what happened then. All right, Arubis, I guess you're up first. No, All right. No, yeah, I, I have no idea what happened. I'm going to move over here. There's a swift action um, arcane pool and hit this guy. Okay. Yeah, that'll hit. 30 for 30. And it's a uh, plus five. Presented yep. by ESPN. Right, 30. 30 for 30. Mm. 30 for 30. Yeah. Murder Hobo Saga. And unleashes of barrage of arrows at this thing. Clicking his boots again. Oops, it should be eight. Do you have clustered shots? Uh, I've got a plus five bow. Ah, well. That works too. I literally don't give a fuck though. I've got one of them too. <laughs> I want to get a Vorpal bow. So anytime my arrows <laughs> crit, they cut your head off. <laughs> is that Jeez. possible? Yeah. No. Well, not for it has me. to be a melee weapon. But oh. see, the thing is, you, they say that, but there are plenty of instances where Paizo has created items that defy that rule, like the dragon. Oh my god. Bow. Keen composite. Oh, so yeah, good. So good. Let you save a feet later on. What, what if you enchant the arrows as soon as they hit it? It's melee. Don't worry yeah, about it. I think that's not going to quite work. Thought it has to be a slashing weapon, doesn't it? All right. You can't blow it. sixteen misses head off. though, right? Yeah. Sure. I mean, you missed the twenty-five and the sixteen. Okay. Um, it can't regenerate this round. There's a couple of cool things it can do here. Are any We'd of them going to save it? That. Uh, Gekido, can you make a will save real quick? Uh, this thing You're is gonna not... You're going to have so much fun with will saves this level. Yeah. 62. All right, damn. Gekido, it I'm turns back. towards you and is like... Please return upstairs as quickly as possible. Leave this facility. And you're like, okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and that was right. a swift action. Sure, whatever. Oh, you can do that as a swift? Yeah, it has quick and suggestion. <laughs> oh, man, I really want to put this on Aster, but his... Oh, shit. Will saves. Nope. No, I can do this to Aster. Holy fuck. Ooh. This is going to happen. This is happening. All right, Aster, what's your touch AC? It's... For what's Aster, it? If he casts a spell in threatened error, do not get attack of opportunity or something on him? Uh, not for a suggestion. Ah, uh, okay. Not for a quicken. Suggestion? Not, yeah, not for a quicken suggestion. And this thing's not evil, right? It is lawful neutral, like all well, our inevitable. Well, yeah. Wait, so, does it have to hit my touch AC if it's a suggestion? It's not a suggestion no. he's casting. Oh, okay. I'm asking what your it's, touch AC is to see if he has any chance of doing this. Still 14. Oh, yeah, he's going to go for it. And I can't do anything about it. He will go the distance. Da -na -na, na -na. Yes! All right. He reaches out with a finger and touches Aster on the forehead. And Aster, you now have a marking on your forehead that glows purple that says criminal. And he says, Fugitive, you have been branded. Leave this facility at once or bear the mark of justice. Thank you, though. I begin moving away. Wait, wait, give me, say that right now again. He told you to <laughs> leave this facility at once. All oh, right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna nitpick the the living justice out of that. <laughs> the you living justice. Because <laughs> well, it exactly said leave this facility at once. I yeah. it never said don't come back. Braxton Scram's gonna do anything to my leaving. Uh, I can't. I haven't acted yet. And I don't All I have to I do can. is leave, and then I can just come right back. I think you're nitpicking that pretty hard, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to nitpick <laughs> all of it. Yeah, even if I haven't stated it, it would have been intelligent enough to include that caveat. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't, though. It's a bean of laws. It adds all of the... You know what? That was, that was just what you could understand, Wait. Aster. 
the tell me what the, the mark of justice was actually like a five thousand page long document indicating <laughs> everything you can ever do in the future wait <laughs> did the, does this decrease the casting time of the mark of justice yeah slas are always standard actions unless God, otherwise okay. stated mm -hmm. that's right son that's how they geos the shit out of people walk around be like what's up you must now go on a quest to bring me a burrito <laughs> If you don't, you'll slowly wither away and die. All right, Gekido, you're leaving the facility. Breck, I would like to point out, he still hasn't taken any technical hostile action against you guys. He's only branded Aster a criminal, which, let's be honest. That was justified, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm okay with that, honestly. Uh, the problem is uh, he sent Gek away, and... Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, you know what, he's just going to go ahead and charge. Why is that a problem? What, why does that make you upset that he literally had someone who he wanted to leave, leave? Does that enrage you, Breck? What, it doesn't. What moral outrage do you derive from a, a guard getting someone to leave the facility he's guarding? He imp he used magics to steal. Oh, up okay. And it's free so if he will. whipped your ass and then carried you outside, you'd be okay with it because it's not magic. He right? could try. <laughs> hey, you have, a, so, you have a chance to say no. Unfortunately, I, Breck is a practical person. He sees hostilities have been commenced and he doesn't see them stopping anytime soon. So he's going to just try and finish these things and he's going to charge. How are you charging? Um, narrow frame, okay. right there. That's reasonable. So. So, a 36 for the first attack. Secondary attack at 28 to hit. And both of those are... I thought you were charging. Well, actually, no, I'm charging. So, never mind. So, uh, 52 damage. Okay. And then... Yeah, he's um, dead. Okay, that was enough. All right. Yeah. Aster, do you immediately leave this facility and never return? Nope. I... All right. I, I leave, get rid of it, and come back tomorrow. Nope, I leave, I get rid of it, come back tomorrow. I'm Are a cleric, remember? Are we I, stopping? I have literally two different kinds of spells I can get rid of it. Like what? Remove curse, remove it, break enchantment. Both of them remove break mark of justice. Would work. Both work. Uh, remove curse, you'd have to be higher caster level. Equal to or higher. Yep. What, what, what's his caster level? I don't know. So remove <laughs> curse will do it. Let's see here. Break enchantment. Either, you with break enchantment, you have to make a caster level check as well. Do you mean remove, remove curse? No, break enchantment. It's in the description. Mm-hmm. You have to make a cast. It's with both. For sure. Go ahead. Make my next day. Okay. Your break <laughs> enchantment fails. All right, I cast it again. You prepared multiple break enchantments for the day? Yes. Well, okay. well I'm, I'm waiting until tomorrow. Oh. That's my point. You prepared multiple break enchantments for that day? Yes. Okay. Just Again? Are we just kind of wait for Aster yeah. here? You succeed, finally. Oh, you guys no. literally Dick. are going to spend 48 hours waiting for Aster to break enchantment three times and then reset his spell list? <laughs> Gek that seems more than a little cheap, honestly. Yeah. Hey. Gekido is still running half a mile upward on foot. <laughs> a touch attack with no will save that makes sure I can't go into this place ever again seems pretty cheap. No, no, you can go back in. You just suffer the effect of a curse. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Which is minus six to con. So 
So hopefully we would have stopped Gek on the way out, up and out. I mean, we just pick him up at the... Pick me up. <laughs> oh. Gently. Pretty, I'm actually pretty hard to grab, too. <laughs> well, once you'd gotten into the surface, we yeah, yeah. get you again. And I imagine that takes a while, doesn't it? Half a not, mile, not. straight up. Not as long as you're t planning to take. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. certainly doesn't take two days of casting spells and then getting your fourth or fifth level spells back. I would say the reasonable option is we went up, we let him cast, and then we come back down. If you wanted yeah. to do that, I mean, but then he'd have expended all the break enchantment spots. I mean, I'm perfectly okay with that. Are you... I'm going for what seems not ridiculously game breaking. I mean, we're already game breaking really? enough here. Really? <laughs> I really? know I am speaking from a yeah. really? point of complete hypocrisy here. Really? I acknowledge. <laughs> I'm getting my spells back. That's fine. So Brex actually like, that's fine. We're just going to clear the level without you, and we'll go to the next one too. <laughs> Yeah. Aster shows up. It's literally like Snacks is taking his place. They've created a memorial structure, like a bunch of statues to commemorate the five people who cleared this place. And there's like a little kid sized one of Aster as the guy who didn't show up for the last mission. Excellent. <laughs> Got it. That's canon now, bitches. So it hasn't even happened yet. It's going to. So, some no. hours pass. I guess sure. Gek is back. Yeah, about 12 hours <laughs> pass. Yeah. Let's keep going. Aster said he's going to be waiting it out. Are you guys literally going to go without him? Yeah. Good. Mm, it is a. Uh, it is tempting. Now you not you you basically have no healer then. Not only do you not have a trap checker, you also have no healer now. Train, Train has heal. a wand. Train has my wand. Train. Oh he yeah. He has a wand. wand. Plus he has magic. <laughs> I can heal. We just, we just go along with light wounds, cure mortal wounds, and cure serious wounds. We don't need. This is PFS. If it was home game, I'd be okay, but we can't keep subdividing the party here. <laughs> can't keep someone out of play, guys. All right, we'll wait. Just wait it out. You spend the whole time muttering about how meta shit is and how you're such a bunch of hypocrites. This, is, this, is a, this yeah. would be a normal thing to do in this situation. Yeah. Wait it out? Sure. <laughs> you come back down, the crystals are still singing random words that don't make any sense to you. This is less meta. Guess I have my rage rounds back. <laughs> Those three Yay. I spent. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, perception check for traps. You know, I you figured we could room, take a 20 here. I think we spent a long enough time waiting around. <laughs> you spent two days camping out down here. You don't think there's any traps. You believe if you remove the singing crystals, broken them off the windows, or I'm sorry, the walls here, <clears throat> they could be given to the right collector. They would be worth 2,000 gold pieces if you removed all of them. Well, we have lots and lots of spare time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As you start removing them, they begin singing 1930s era show tunes. Are these yeah. from the future? In fifth Hello, Harvey. my baby. Hello, no, my from dad. the distant past, like 2,000 years ago. I'm talking about uh, like U.S. American know, know, our era show tunes. In uh, 1930 AR, they were still using like bronze weapons and shit. <laughs> Rodin was still alive, and he was like, "Sup, guys." Outdoor rules, bitches. <laughs> okay, you now have a bunch of show tunes singing crystals. They make a huge fucking amount of noise. Oh. Does anybody have a bag of holding? <laughs> Just leave them. Why are we carrying them? We'll set them down and we'll pick them up later. Grab them, yeah, grab them. All right, let's just go, 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 go. Okay, they begin singing the One Winged Angel song from the Final Fantasy VII soundtrack. Perfect. All right, uh, go up and look through this door with the mirror. You're going to that door? Yep. Okay. <laughs> you know, I just want to be specific. 
On the other side, you see floating islands, some sort of crazy vortex. And uh, while the walls are all intact, the ceilings and floors appear to be made of pink and orange clouds. Hmm. Interesting. Peculiar. Hmm. Is your mirror broken? Don't think so. I I believe it might be. Um, I'm Can we try to identify it? Maybe a knowledge planes. I'll look. You're trying to identify what's happening in here. Yes. Okay, you learn the following. This portal in the back is a direct connection to the Maelstrom, which is the plane of chaotic neutrality. It is an area of pure chaos. Uh, the orange and purple clouds and the pink are all direct connections to the Maelstrom. If you begin moving too far up or down off the plane... You enter the cloud, and after about 20 seconds, you'll reappear in the Maelstrom in a random location. These are all floating island rocks. They seem to be stable sections of reality for now. What does everybody say about siding with chaos now? And finally, no. all the way in the back there, this little head right here appears to be a generator that's generating a jamming field preventing the forces of law from bringing reinforcements onto the plane which one the skull hmm it is the skull of a protein that has tulips growing out of its eyes well let's get rid of that uh can I open the door okay when you do you hear a bunch of guys like Dude, sup, dude? Chaos for life, dudes. What's up? Hey, dudes. No. What's up? It's Galactic Space Criminal. Aster, what's up? Hey. What's up? <laughs> hey, listen, bro. We can't let you and your party pass, man. We're not sure you're on our side, bro. You could totally betray us because you're so fucking chaotic, bro. Aren't you are you totally for chaos? Yeah, bro, but we're for our chaos. <laughs> Shit. You gotta like That's... prove you're on our side, bro. That's How can we do that? Kill well, you can make a diplomacy check or we can make a close buff checks. I'll make a diplomacy. You wanna bluff check. it out, bro? You wanna bluff it out? I'll I'll do diplomacy. Okay. Eh, Breck is just gonna go and start hacking at the skull. Anybody assisting that? No. <laughs> yes, no. Hayden, try. What is this? Black part? Is this no one is wall? assisting at all? <laughs> nope. Well, I said we were going to try and be low. I know we've done a shit job of it, but... We've actually been more chaos. Just like, whatever. Too much effort. So, yeah. I mean, before you move in there, Breck, we have to resolve this diplomacy role. I right. assist. You are assisting? Let's see it then. Yeah. Sure. Uh, let's see, what is it? 1d20 minus 1 for diplomacy for me. There we go. Yeah, okay, so they're like, cool, bro. We totes trust you, Aster. And now that you've repped for all your bros, you can help us out, bro. Listen, we totally need someone to go smack the, uh, the jammer that those inevitables have up. What a bunch of D-bags, you know, man. But hey, listen... We're trying to get down there into that sealed room and turn it into a force of chaos. Let me tell you a story, bro. And he, they start floating forward in a super fucking creepy. They're both smiling at you, like completely stoned. And they're like, let's tell a story, bro. And then they point to the room that's behind you guys. They're like, in that room, bro, is a seal of immense power. It like totes protect the edge of the emerald spire. That's like where the tip is, man. Turns out... If you take control of this level and you break open that seal, crazy shit's going to happen. And uh, we really want Chaos to win because it's going to let us rewrite the material plane toward Chaos, bro. Chaos. Cool, bro. If you're cool with doing that, just bro. go in there. We've got one of the Minesh brothers who's facing down with a Colurit. They basically just sit and stare at each other for a while. 
You know, we totally have like a truce there. If you go and you gank the shit out of that coal you root, we'll totally be able to claim the seal room. We even got the key, bro. All right, let's go do that, bro. Wait, before uh, you do that, you have to prove your loyalty, man. You got to go shut down the generator. Let's go do that. All right, bro. Uh, Here's uh, a quick map. You need to get to this room and mm. shut down the generator, bro. All right, bro. It's completely and utterly undefended. <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm actually I'm going to start making my way there. Hey, bro. Brett, Brett I, I do not feel comfortable with this. Um... Uh, I'm gonna initiate uh, hostilities. I, What's I in the sided with I sided with no side after those lawful guys. So yeah, I heard yeah. changing the uh, <laughs> material plane to chaos and is like, That's, yeah, no. I understand. Astra's made a deal with them on your behalf. You're gonna turn around and stab them in the back now. He's done That's enough pretty to chaotic. <laughs> I don't think that chaotic. Chaotic. stabbing them in the back is pretty chaotic, man. He's done enough to me. It's fair payback. You sure? Because, I mean, he did make a deal, and now you're stabbing him in the back. Seems pretty illegit, bro. Uh, I attempted to act as soon as possible, and I was only delayed because of uh, box text uh, delaying speed. Wow, that seems like it would really take a step towards chaos. Bro. Yeah, that does seem like it would. Uh, it wasn't his deal to be... He had no part in that deal. I had no part... Together? You guys have overthrown law. Why can't you work with Chaos for now? I think the group decision was at neutral after that. Oh, yes, yeah, train wins neutral. <laughs> I think the party decision was once we... We voted for law initially, and the decision was if we didn't go law, we were just going to kill everything. So you're just going to kill. So you're just going to kill these guys out of nowhere. That seems more like a step towards evil. Mm. No, because my alignment was always like okay towards law, and these, these guys, guys are going are against it. <clears throat> Excuse me, my name is Gekido. We are going to go break that skull back there. Are you going to stop us? Of course, bro. We need to keep the inevitables out of here. Why would you want to destroy that? You realize that's powered by the life force of one of our brothers, man. That would be like murder and shit. You guys really usually fight towards saving these people, and now you're just trying to kill them all instantly. They're like, listen, bro, you guys seem kind of unchill right now. Why don't you just take a step back and calm down, bro? We're just trying to, like, make things a little better. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Come on, your buddy's on our side. We totes have a deal, bro. You guys still oh, yeah. attacking? Uh, yeah. Get, get I Kido apologize. Is in favor. But, uh, no. If, if at least I majority is. I cannot accept the deal. Well, it's just chaotically insane to uh, let anything take over. Keep the neutral. <sighs> Are you sure? Are you sure that's what you want to have done? Chaotic neutral guy? You really want to be like, yeah, it'd be insane to have chaos in control. We don't want either to take over. Yeah. All right. I just, I, I'm just going to let you guys know right now that you have tanked your chance of getting a boon from either side. What's hilarious <laughs> is the sheet says you have to get one of the two boons, but they're both called Ally of Law and Ally of Chaos, so... You know, you basically just shot yourself in the foot there. I those law guys were hard to deal with, and I'm not gonna go with the chaos side, as yeah. I get, you know is not. Talking yeah, I'm about not sure. If character. It didn't nope. seem like there was any way we were capable of getting the law side to work for us, and, uh, and the chaos side seems to be like totally for us. Yeah, yeah but I'm doing completely... exactly what you want. Break the seal, bro. Go down there. We're doing. We're going to be doing the exact same thing, even if they don't. Yeah, do, that's true. You know, honestly, do kill them. I kind of agree with Asta, though. This is no. what we're going to do. We're going to break the seal. We're going to go to. We're going to explode the. So we're going to commit murder for guys wanting to do the same thing you want to do. No, go ahead, yeah, Aster. Yeah. You're up. They they've made their decision. They have chosen their moral side. They I'm don't want to side with law, but one. they're too lawful to side with chaos. I'm, I'm just going to cast divine <laughs> favor on this guy. It's okay, you there. cast divine yeah. favor on him. He's like, thanks, bro. Yep. Erebus. What is divine favor? He gets a, he gets a plus him. three bonus on attack and damage rolls. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, well. 
<laughs> I love and Nas is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's looking around trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Airbus, what are you doing? That's just crazy. We got a bunch of crazy down? party members. He's going nuts. <laughs>